Hello guys, and welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video, and it is some more Ultimate Alliance campaign killing. Not entirely sure what we have in store for you, but I have a fairly good idea. It's going to be more showdowns between me and the C-33 of Skipper. We're going back and forth a lot. He's got pretty good stats. Um, and the Ultimate Alliance campaign bonuses give you a lot more stats especially since we're doing really well for ourselves. So I've been going back and forth with him, hit him once, I'll take out about half of his troops, and then I'll just hit him again, and I'll be finally be able to win. So, I mean, he's got better stats. I have some better troop um, tiers, but, you know, it, we're having fun. We're in first place. We're doing well for ourselves, and... My biggest problem is, you know, it's just I'm here and I'm really only able to defend my own alliance. I have yet to be able to go out and invade. So I think that's what I want to go and do for all of you. Um, I'll try to figure it out with a plan. Try to make sure that someone can hold my spot so that these guys don't get in our spot and get a better spot right next to our fortress and steal all of our treasure. So we're going to teleport in and we're going to start, you know, taking some towers and holding them, trying to get some more treasure and hope that hopefully we can take more treasure than they're going to be taking from us. Because I can go back and forth with this guy all day long. In the end of the day, he's just going to be passed. I can only be in one building at a time. It is extremely difficult to defend against that. So... I'm just going to do everything that I can to, you know, protect and try to win. Because now we're in the final day. There, Well, not the final day. A day and 19 hours left in UAC is not the final day whatsoever. Um, but we want to win. So we're going to do that. I accidentally scouted my own teammate. That's quite interesting. I've never, you know... This game likes to glitch out a lot. It likes to tell me I lose my network connection whenever I'm in a battle. Which really, really is painful. Um, but... Yeah. So, I just got kicked out of the game while I'm sending out some scouts. But, you know, let's uh, try to see who's got the most troops, who's got the most... Oh, that's nice and healthy. Um, who has the most troops, who has the most treasure in that tower and let's go take it so looks like we're gonna march here but then my buddy recalled so I'm just gonna do it myself so now they're asking me to clear the fort so let's go ahead and you know take a look at the fort and figure out what we can do to help out my buddy They have 828,000 troops. I want to kill that. And then we have Hobo over here. Not yet. A, he's a C26 in that range. So he goes, you know what? Eh, it's only 828,000 troops. I'll do it. I'll kill them. That's the beauty of Ultimate Alliance campaign. Because, I mean, it doesn't stop you. It doesn't even scare you. We had some really weak opponents. I was actually the only time I've ever been in UAC and been the strongest person in the rotation. Um, doesn't really say much because, you know, Skipper being the second strongest was able to do some damage to me. Um, he's got a pretty nice account and UAC bonuses definitely are nice. So here goes Hobo. We're going to watch him take over this fortress. And he won. <laughs> Look at how few many, like how few troops are actually returning from them. So he didn't quite kill everyone. And this is something that happens. If there's a ton of troops, you're not going to be able to kill all of them, even if you win. 
So you might get a victory, but you might still have some troops left. I'm trying to think of what I can say without actually getting in trouble. <laughs> so, got invited to a couple of rooms. So I'm going to take a look at these little rooms that were made for UAC. This guy wants to make a... I write up. Um, might be in this video, might not be. Both of these people are like, hey, we want to make allies with you. And this SLV alliance, uh, the one in that room, we actually, they made the room first and my alliance decided to align with them. A pretty weak alliance. However, they, they almost beat us in UAC because they aligned with us. Um, everyone was coming to invade us. We were invading everyone else except for SLV. And... By the end of the Ultimate Alliance campaign, no one was taking their treasure, so they pretty much had free reign over everyone, and they almost won because of this. Granted, we came out in, on top in the end, however, it was pretty close. Um, the Zoo Alliance, they're like, hey, we want to align with you, and we're like, sorry, we already aligned with someone else, and you already aligned with someone who's attacking us, and now you're attacking us doesn't really work with alliances like that. You can't say, hey, we want to be your friends while you're invading and taking our treasure. No, sorry, bud. <laughs> you're going to have to die. So we're going to do just that. Not really sure what happened here in this um, battle report, so I'm taking a look to see what happened because Gooey is definitely much stronger than this guy. But there's the problem. He was reinforced by Skipper. So he was actually, um, you know, the C-33 came in and reinforced. So that's why you don't really see those stat differences, but you do see the end effect. Thank you all for watching.